Did you know for many years the American people have been eating cloned beef and pork, and now they're expanding out into other forms of meat? Let's look at salmon first. Major university studies conclusively have proven that the type of genetically modified salmon that is actually a cross species, they've mixed other uh, animal genes in with it, that when this fish is introduced with wild natural salmon, within 40 generations, all the natural salmon are extinct. And the FDA approved this. And they're going to allow it to be released into the wild that isn't even a salmon. It is a cross species chimera. It is a mixture like something out of the island of Dr. Maru, something out of a nightmare. More than 85% of the corn now consumed in the United States, and it's also starting to trend that way in Europe and Canada, is genetically engineered. It grows its own pesticide uh, within the corn kernels so that insects won't eat it. If the insects can't eat this and live, what do you think is going to happen when lab rats or humans eat it? We have literally hundreds of studies showing that not just Monsanto's, but other major GMO companies' corn, that's the majority of corn we're now eating today in the United States, has been linked to organ failure in lab animals. The studies also show massive increases in sterility in rats and guinea pigs that are fed not just GMO corn, but GMO cotton seeds. Studies in India, Germany, and the United States have conclusively shown that when they feed the cotton seeds left over from the cotton crop from these genetically modified varieties, that the cows are having miscarriages, they are having low birth weights, or in many cases, they're simply dying. And what is in most processed foods? Genetically modified cottonseed oil. Major studies are also showing that genetically engineered crops are killing honeybees and monarch butterflies. But they don't stop there. Now they claim they're coming out with a genetically engineered mosquito that's malaria-proof that they're going to release into the open biosphere. The very genetic code of the planet is being butchered in a hostile corporate takeover. Many years ago, an executive from Monsanto was quoted in National Geographic as saying that that is their program that they want to basically have their crops and their organisms take over the entire biosphere of this planet. And the major genetic engineer companies have focused mainly on eight major food crops. Now they're expanding out into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other plants, literally changing the genetic code of the planet. This is a genetic dictatorship. This is genetic vandalism. And that's why the Rockefellers, the United Nations, and others have built these giant armored seed vaults all over the world, not just at the Arctic Circle. And they admit they're doing it in case all of this gets out of hand, that they'll have a type of no was ARC. So all these fake environmental groups, they never complain about this. They never talk about true environmental degradation. They want to put a tax on carbon dioxide that humans exhale, that plants respirate from and carry out photosynthesis with as a way to shut down industrial society and control every facet of our lives. That's the big secret. This is a population reduction program. It is an epidemic the sperm count has dropped in the Western world exponentially. Even the government has been predicting within another generation, almost everyone is going to be sterile. This is the globalist religion. This is their philosophy. They want the planet for themselves. The UN has said that their stated plan is an 80% population reduction. You've heard Ted Turner call us useless eaters and feeders and say that 80% of us need to be killed. You've heard Prince Philip say he wants to come back as a virus uh, to kill the majority of the world population. Dr. Eric Pianca, Peter Singer, it's all over the news where they tell us that we should only have one child because more than one is bad for the environment and that the recession is good for lowering our carbon footprint. This is the big secret. We live in a scientific dictatorship. And the United States and England are the epicenter of this. And it's expanding worldwide. Remember all the secret testing, all the secret sterilization that went on in the United States and Europe. Remember what Hitler did. He learned all of that from the eugenicist and the Rockefeller family in the United States. This is a culture of death being pushed on you and your family. And even if you think the world is overpopulated, you need to understand that you're being targeted by this as well. Targeted by design. 